Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this clipper circuit and we have been asked to find the input output transfer characteristic of the given circuit. Now here we have been given that the forward voltage drop of these two diodes are 0.7 volt. So to find the transfer characteristic, first of all let us see how the circuit will behave during the positive half cycle. Now during the positive half cycle, this diode D will conduct when the voltage at the anode of this diode is 0.7 volt greater than the voltage at the cathode. So here, the voltage at the cathode of this diode is equal to 5 volt. That means whenever the voltage at the anode is 5.7 volt, at that time, this diode D will conduct. And for the zener diode to operate in the breakdown region, the voltage across the zener diode should be greater than 10 volt. So whenever the input voltage is between 0 to 5.7 volt at that time these both diodes will act as a open circuit and at that time the output voltage V out is equal to input voltage. Now once the input voltage crosses the 5.7 volt at that time this diode D will start conducting and the voltage across the diode will be equal to 0.7 volt. That means whenever this input voltage is greater than 5.7 volt at that time the output voltage V out is equal to 5.7 volt and the same voltage will also appear across this zener diode. That means even if the input voltage increases beyond this 5.7 volt then also the output voltage across this zener diode will remain the 5.7 volt. That means we can say that this zener diode will not go into the breakdown region and in this condition the output voltage will get clipped to the 5.7 volt. That means we can say that when the input voltage is between 0 to 5.7 volt at that time the V out is equal to V in and when V in is greater than 5.7 volt at that time V out is equal to 5.7 volt. So this is the case during the positive half cycle. Now let us see how the circuit behaves during the negative half cycle. So during the negative half cycle this diode D will remain in the reverse bias condition because during the negative half cycle the voltage at the anode will be always less than the cathode. So this diode D will remain in the open circuit condition. Now this zener diode will get forward biased when the voltage across it is greater than 0.7 volt. That means whenever the input voltage is between minus 0.7 to 0 volt at that time V out is equal to V in because at that time this zener diode will also act as a open circuit. But once the input voltage goes below this minus 0.7 volt, at that time the zener diode will get forward biased. And in this condition, the voltage across the zener diode will be equal to 0.7 volt. That means once the input voltage is less than minus 0.7 volt, in this condition this zener diode will forward biased. And in this condition, V out will be equal to minus 0.7 volt. So if we see the overall input output transfer characteristic, then it will look like this. That means whenever the input is between minus 0.7 to 5.7 volt, in this condition V out will be equal to V in. Whenever the input voltage goes below this 5.7 volt, at that time V out will get clipped to the 5.7 volt. And similarly, when the input voltage goes below this minus 0.7 volt, at that time V out is equal to minus 0.7 volt. So this is the transfer characteristic of the given circuit and from this we can say that for the given question C is the correct answer.